class diagrams may be used both formally and informally. That is, they may be created with all the necessary detail to allow execution, or they may be used to clarify or explore and document some aspect of the requirements without providing too much detail. Class diagram construction requires two principal inputs, component diagrams and analysis diagrams. It is possible to create informal class diagrams without a component structure, but formal executable models must be specified within the boundaries of a component. This lesson will focus on the mechanics of constructing a class diagram. As mentioned previously, in order to do executable modeling, classes must be inside the context of a component. So here we have our component. I double click to open it. And then we create a package. Next I open the package and then select the classes tray inside of the palette. Select class and I can draw my class to size. I can also select class and simply click on the canvas and a class will be created with a default size. The class key letters provide a name which can be used in OAL to refer to the class. The default setting is to simply create the name without any spaces. For example, if I rename my class to a name that includes spaces, the class key letters simply are the name with spaces removed. Once the class is created, we can add attributes and operations. Right click on the class and select new and then choose the desired selection, either attribute or operation. We can also add class state machines and instance based state machines. Here we've added a new attribute. The default type is integer. If I use the link with editor, and select my class, the Model Explorer tree is automatically expanded to the location of the class. Now I can select my attribute and choose Set Type. Here I can change the type to whatever I want. Now let's add an operation. Once the operation is created, we can either double click it and add our OAL here in the action language editor. Or we can select the operation that we've added and we can change the settings from instance based to class based. We can also right click and change the return type of the operation using the data type chooser just like on the attribute. 